mean, I'll never forget that him describing how they were in the water and the way he described it, you could actually, you could feel the current, you could feel them holding on, you could feel and holding hands and then being separated and then looking back and then where is he and then gone. Are you holding on to each other? We were trying to, but uh -huh. the currents were so, the currents weren't even going in one direction the entire time. There were subcurrents and, and they were going sideways and you were just swirling and trying to, mm -hmm. trying to main, just trying to keep your face up is really the only thing that you had any semblance of control over. I know you had seen her. I had seen, earlier. well, I had seen Louise um, at, when I was searching for Fernando, and um, Louise actually was the one person I didn't ask if she had seen Fernando because the look of sheer devastation on her face looked worse than mine, or what I imagined mine to be. Mm -hmm. And she came up to me, um, and I was crying, and she said, I, I, she said, can I do anything for you? And I said, have you seen Fernando? Because we had seen one another at the hotel several times in, over the last few days. And she said, no. And I said, okay. And she looked at me and there was a pause and she said, have you seen anyone in my family? And I said, I haven't. And she said, I don't want to be the only survivor. And I said to her at that time, I don't either. This was by far the most horrific thing that I have ever seen in my life. Despite the death and the destruction and the horror, there was an incredible amount of beauty going on. Mm -hmm. You could feel the humanity. And it was palpable. And it was very, very real. Mm -hmm. And when you're there and you have nothing, and you have no clothing, and you have no identification, and you have no water, and you have no food, you are dependent on someone else's smile. And that's how it felt.